called? I got three little testers, not testers. I got three samples. Um, I got. Hey babies, guess who's back? It's me, Viva Latika, and I am here today to do a haul for you all. I know it's been so long since I've recorded a haul. This particular haul would be like a beauty haul. I've gotten so much stuff since the last time that I've recorded a video, um, and a lot of things I've probably already used, but we're just gonna get right into it. All right, so I've been to a ton of stores. I've been to, let's see, I've been to MAC. I've been to Lush. I've been to Target, I've been to Sephora, I've been to some of everywhere, so um, I'm just going to pick up whatever I pick up versus whatever I'm going to talk about. Alright, so here I have this matte blush palette. Um, I just picked this up from Ross because I needed a blush palette and it was only $6.99. I'm like, oh, like it's perfect colors. And I'm just like, why not try it out? So I tried it out. And let me tell y'all, this thing is so pigmented. Like it plays no games. I am totally satisfied with this purchase. I've only used like two of them so far, but I've swatched every single one of them. I just know that exactly what it looks like is what color it is when it goes on your skin. And this is by Beauty Treats. Um, Beauty, Treat, Beauty Treats Matte Blush Palette. So this is so perfect for me. It was only $6.99 like I said and I needed a palette and it just happened to work. So I must say like when it comes to like places like Ross, TJ Maxx, HomeGoods, all that stuff that sell makeup, like the makeup is so cheap. Like you can just try it. If it doesn't work out for you, take it back. Like, But luckily for me, this worked perfect so I love it. Okay, so next I went to Lush and Lush, normally I just get like the little bath of bombs or whatever I'm, I'm like I OD on those and I spend too much money on them but I love them to death but anyway um I saw what is her name Glam Quee or Glam Key I think her name is and she had talked about how she started using the tea tree water from Lush and it, anyway it's a toner water and um it's made out of tea tree water grapefruit water and some other stuff that I can't pronounce. But anyway, um, I'm loving this so far. Like for what she said she used it for, was to kind of like um, get rid of her dark spots. Um, it's been really working for me. So what it does for me is it dries out like all of my dark marks and it just like comes off. I don't know, it's weird, but I'm just gonna keep on using it and hopefully I could be dark spot free in no time. But. I don't know, I'm gonna give you guys like a good review on this a little later if I really do love it, so. And this, um, I can't remember how much this was. This was, this was like the smaller size, I think it was about 10 bucks. So the next two things I have are from our Handy Dandy Elf line. Um, and these are like two products that I use and I've bought 50 million of them in my lifetime and I'll never get rid of them. But number one is their Makeup Mist and Set. I am obsessed with this. I've never used Fix Plus by MAC because this looks perfect for me and it's only $3 so I will take that to the bank. <laughs> But I use this, I use it for everything really. I spray my brushes before I apply like any of my foundation, my eyeshadow, like anything. I spray this because it will pop anything that you have. Like any color, like you just put it on your brush and put it on your eyelid, it, nothing compared to splashing this with your brush and then putting it on there, it would be so pigmented, like I promise you. So this is every bit of $3 worth it. And then the second thing that I can't live without by e.l.f. is their powdered brush and I've actually used this but whatever. <laughs> Just wanted to rave about this. I'm sure like if you do not have this go get it right now. It's three dollars and it's like the most perfect foundation brush, brush ever. I don't know why my hair keeps doing that. so annoying. But anyway it is like a stippled brush. I don't know if you can see it. So it's like a flat top brush and what I do is I put my foundation on the back of my hand and then I stipple it and then I stipple it on my face and that's it like I stipple it and then um, after that I'll like go in and like lightly circle motion type of thing do that so yeah 
this brush is perfect, perfect, perfect. It's perfect for liquid foundation and it's perfect for powder foundation. I will definitely recommend this to anyone. And that's probably why I've gotten this brush like 50 million times. So yeah, love it. $3 for the brush and $3 for the mist, if I didn't already say that. And I picked those up from Target. All right. So, the next thing I got, something I always buy too, it's my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And I'm obsessed with this thing because it makes your skin look so natural. Um, I am dark in this color. It comes in like dark, medium, I guess light, I don't know. But I've used this too, so basically here it is. And there's a compact, and there's a mirror for you, and yeah, perfect. And I think this is like $32 or so, I don't know, it's worth it though. I do not buy makeup, like expensive makeup unless it's really worth it. <laughs> All right, moving on to Sephora. Well, first of all, I got two, um, oh shoot, no, actually I got three. I got a sample of the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation and um, I don't know, I just wanted to try it. I haven't tried it yet either. I keep forgetting about this because I've been putting all this stuff up so I won't use it for the sake of this video so now I'll be able to use everything. <laughs> And then I got the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation. Um, everybody's been raving about this bad boy, so I want to see what that's about. Because I'm not trying to spend 50 something, $60 on some foundation. So I need to make sure it's really worth the hype. And then um, the lady also gave me this like cleanser for my Clarisonic. Clarisonic. <laughs> I always get Clarisonic and Clarisonic. I don't know. And then the lady also gave me these little samples of um, the cleansers that the Clarisonic comes with. Like I already had one, but this is another type. I don't know. I haven't tried it. I forgot all about this as well. So I'm going to try this tonight actually. And if you didn't already know, um, Sephora, you can get a sample of practically anything from there. From their perfumes to their foundations, anything, literally anything. So I always would recommend you get in the... Um, the sample before you go out and spend all that money on a full container of whatever you want to get. Anywho, um, I got me another beauty blender and this is the red carpet one. It's so funny because my boyfriend is like, that is so stupid. <laughs> he thinks this is so stupid, but um, let me see. I've had, uh, I just used this, that's why it's so big. But I had the pink one and it took me forever to purchase this because I just could not make sense of spending like what $18 on a beauty blender when I can go to like TJ Maxx and all that and they have like little fake beauty blenders for like $4. I'm like whatever. But one day I just was feeling like I like was rich or something. I was just like man whatever I'm gonna just get one of these things. And I'm telling you these beauty blenders and those things at TJ Maxx are no comparison. These things are Heaven sent. <laughs> so I went ahead and got another one because that one's pretty dirty and um, I haven't cleaned it yet. I need to figure out how to clean it. Um, if you know how to clean it, leave it down below. <laughs> but anyway, I just got another one because I also like how it was like called the red carpet and I just figured it would be nice to have two so I can like swatch, switch them out, you know, whenever. So I got that. I think this is my last thing to show you all from what I can remember at least. Um, I got this Kat Von D lipstick, Aesthetic Kiss lipstick, and y'all, I have been chasing and hunting this bad boy down all of my life. And every time I go there, I see the like the little display one and, and it's no, and it's not available. And I'm like, well, just take the thing down, okay? Because that's the tease. But anyway, what I'm talking about is this. This is Poe, as you guys probably already know. And it's just an amazing color. It's purple. It's like a deep, deep purple, but it has like sparkles all in it. Like, I am so excited. I haven't even worn this yet. And that's why I'm so glad I did this video because I really, really try to not use anything before I do videos that I have not used it yet. And I'll probably use it this weekend because I've been waiting all of my life for this bad boy. And don't tell nobody that this lipstick was $21. <laughs> 
I do not spend no $21 on no lipstick because Wet n Wild are my babies and they're only like two, three dollars. But this color right here, like I'll only splurge on another, like a, um, a high-end lipstick if it's like a color that is not has not been duplicated by the drugstore and this color is the color that I've never seen before so I just I'm obsessed with it and I'm so happy that I got my hands on it so anyway that is the end of my video I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for my next video which is coming like I'm about to film it right now actually while I did all my makeup or whatever. Um, ooh, shadow. I actually did my shadow for my eyeshadow for you guys today. I know y'all are so proud of me. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get right onto this fashion haul. And yeah, see you guys later.